morning. Good morning, everybody. Our home view down to the south here in Richmond shows that the clouds here have started to thin out just a bit, but more are coming just to the west of you. They're already moving into town. We'll show you satellite here momentarily. Temperatures, though, are kind of chilly. Here is that area of clouds to the west drifting back in over top of Richmond. Still some thinning of the clouds to the south, which is why, as you'll see here, te temperatures have made it down into the 40s this morning. Pretty chilly, low to mid 40s. Now to the north, where clouds have been really prevalent, we are in the middle and upper 50s. Now let me widen out satellite because I want to show you what's coming our way back off to the west. There is a warm front. This is going north. That warm front actually you can connect the dots. It goes across Kentucky down to Tennessee too. It lifts north. Rain stays to our west during the daytime. This cold front would be the front that brings us a better rain chance, but that's not until we get into tonight. Really by later today with the front going farther north, we could thin out the clouds a bit this afternoon. Here is a band of some stronger storms to our west, but look what happens as they move east. Water really shows a lot of that activity kind of fizzling out before it refires to the east of us. So we'll see some scattered showers after midnight into the first part of Tuesday. Tomorrow is not going to be raining all day. We may even break back out into sunshine into central Kentucky tomorrow afternoon as the front's working its way east. Today, overall, the grand scheme, Mostly cloudy, mild, mid and upper 60s. We drop into the 50s tonight. A few 40s could still be sprinkled in in some of the deeper valleys here, but we will bring in that chance for showers after midnight. We track a taste of colder air, though, coming much colder. Yeah, it's going to be moving in here by the end of the upcoming week. And then waiting in the wings is likely another ridge, a warm up back in the plains that may try to nudge toward us into next week. But you can see, look at that Thursday, barely probably getting to 40. Now on the precipitation side of this system, we're waiting to see where an eventual track of the upper level low and even the surface low we're going to be because that's going to determine what our winds will be, which again, if we can get the, fur, the northwest flow moisture being drawn off the Great Lakes, that would bring us a little better chance to work in some rain or snow showers as we get into Thursday and Friday. Still not set in stone with that system, but that's why we're keeping our precipitation chance both days lower. We go through tomorrow again that shower chance in the morning, but still a warmer day, middle or upper 60s for highs. Wednesday showers are going to be possible later in the day from another little system that starts to swing through. That's the one that starts to wrap up and bring some colder air behind it for us for the end of the week, Krista.